separation when the plate to plate separation is concerned for example we know that when the entire space between the two plates of a capacitor when we know the entire space between two plates of the capacitor having the distance of separation d is filled with a air or the dielectric medium taken as air okay whose dielectric strength is uh, considered to be epsilon naught then we do write down the capacitance is equal to epsilon naught a by d isn't it <coughs> when we fill the dielectric space of the capacitor by a dielectric medium when the dielectric space of the capacitor is filled with a dielectric medium for example if it is filled with a dielectric medium of dielectric constant k now the capacitance let this is filled with a dielectric medium so this is a dielectric medium dielectric medium of dielectric strength dielectric medium of dielectric strength k okay having same area having same area of the plates having same area of the plates and separation d and thickness thickness will be considered to be equal to plate separation and thickness is equal is equal to the plate to plate separation right plate to plate separation are you getting it or not when the thickness of the dielectric slab is equal to the plate to plate separation where the dielectric space is having that same plate area as that of the <coughs> uh, plate so then that in this time the capacitance will be write down k epsilon not a by d the capacitance under this condition will be written by k epsilon not a by d that means on when the dielectric space between the plates is filled with the dielectric medium then what we can say because of dielectric inserted after inserting a dielectric the capacitance is increasing by k times right <coughs> when the dielectric space is filled so we can write down a statement when dielectric space when dielectric when dielectric space is filled right when dielectric space is filled <coughs> by a relative dielectric medium by a dielectric medium by a dielectric medium by a dielectric medium of dielectric strength right of dielectric strength k then capacitance capacitance increase increase to k times right are you getting me or not well so suppose when the entire dielectric space the third point when the entire dielectric space is not totally filled by the one dielectric medium but it is if it is said to be filled partly like suppose half of the plate to plate separation is filled with the dielectric of dielectric constant k and the remaining d by 2 is uh, as it is filled with air right if it is if the total space in between the plates if the total space in between the plates is filled uh like this partly by the dielectric space then what will be the effective k can you tell me what will be the effective k now how will the effective k will change is it so no here in this case you need to this does not means that big being it is covering half of the thickness that's why uh capacitance will increase that uh, half of k times it's not that what you have to do you now you can this implies that now now it can be considered it can be considered as it can be considered as two capacitors in series now it can be considered as two capacitors in series are you getting me or not okay here it will be now the arrangement will be considered to be two capacitor one will be the one will be the first one will be the one which is filled with the dielectric okay so this is of separation d by 2 plate area is still a and along with it the uncovered region that is the air capacitor you can say this is 
filled with air. Here in this case, the air space is maintained for a th uh, thickness of uh, d by 2, yes or no? So now we can consider these two as two distinct capacitor. Let this is be C1, this is C2. So now in this case, whatever the charge that will come this way, that will set to be flowing through both of them. So here I can say it is a series combination of C1, C2. I can say it is a series combination. Are you understanding it or not? It is a series combination. It is a series combination of C1 and C2. It is a series combination of C1 and C2. So therefore, therefore the effective capacitance will be 1 by C that is 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. This is the formula to find out C effective, yes or no. So that means simplifying it further, you can write down this C is equal to basically C1, C2 by C1 plus C2, right? Whenever two capacitors are in series, their effective can be known by this formula. So out of which uh, I can write down the value of C1 where C1 is equal to K into epsilon naught into A divided by D by 2. So the dielectric space which is filled by K, uh, for that also plate area will be same because the total plate area is covered by the dielectric medium. But the dielectric space separation has become dy2 now. So that's why the C1 will be expressed by K epsilon naught A by D by 2. Are you understanding it? And uh, C2 and uh, C2, C2 you can write down simply epsilon naught A by D by 2, right? So this is how you can get the C effective. So here in this case, you can write down C effective will be C1 into C2. So if you write down it is 2K epsilon naught A by D. For C1 and for C2, it is 2 epsilon naught A by D. And then dividing the sum of them, C1 plus C2. So from these two, if you take 2 epsilon naught A by D common, so it can be written K plus 1. Is it clear? Uh, D by 2, that's why once I will take this 2 to the numerator, it will become 2 K epsilon naught A by D. Isn't it? Same I have done here also in writing C2. And after this, you can check that this 2 epsilon naught A by 2 is available in both numerator denominator. You can cancel it. So effective C will be this 2K epsilon naught A divided by K plus 1 into D. So if you are asked that, what is the new relation? So in initially it was epsilon naught A by D. This time it is 2K by K plus 1 into the previous value of capacitor. Is it clear or not? Hmm. Now if the plate to plate separation is filled like this, half is filled with K1 remaining half of the plate area. Plate area has been divided for two dielectric medium, right? Half of the plate area, let this is the half of the plate area is shared for K1 dielectric space and rest half is suppose available for K2 dielectric space. So now if we connect the plates this way and then if you want to know the, if you want to know the C effective of this arrangement where plate to plate separation is D but the space in between the two plates is uh, partly covered by K1 dielectric medium and partly covered by K2 dielectric medium. Both the dielectric mediums are sharing the half of the plate area. Then what will be the C effective? What will be C effective now? Can you tell me? Why 2K? Now, uh, is the entire space is uh, covered by the same dielectric space? So there will be two capacitor in this, right? There will be two capacitor in this. One will be C1, another one will be C2, right? Yes or no? Then what will be the C1 and C2? C1 will be equal to K1 into epsilon naught into A by 2 by D, right? And C2 can be written, it is K2 epsilon naught A by 2 by D, yes or no? Tell me. You can see that half of the plate area is, uh, half of the plate area covered with the dielectric space K1, rest half with K2, isn't it? One half of the plate area is covered with the dielectric space K1 and rest half is covered by dielectric space K2 and both the dielectric medium sharing the plate to plate separation that is D only. So that's why we are writing the respective capacitors 
using the half of the plate area taken for the respective capacitors and taking the total plate to plate separation as the width of the capacitor formula right so that's why you're writing k1 epsilon naught a by 2 by d c2 will also be same now what happens here uh, here c1 and c2 here c1 and c2 are parallelly connected yes or no can i say that they are parallelly connected c1 and c2 are parallelly connected as because c1 and c2 are parallelly connected so therefore c dash will be c1 plus c2 c dash that is the c effective one that will be c1 plus c2 yes or no now you know the individual value of c1 and c2 just substituting here you can simplify it 